hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be showing you how i use the brick anew to achieve this beautiful fireplace so the first thing you want to do is clean your brick i'm actually showing you the second step where i used the crud cutter to just wipe down the brick because it was actually very dirty but the first step you want to go ahead and get a broom or a sharp bristle brush and just clean through the brick because we had a bunch of cobwebs, spider webs, all types of stuff in there. So do that step first and then clean it with the crud cutter. Once you wipe it with the crud cutter, it is a little wet. So I would highly recommend giving it a minute to dry so that you don't paint on wet brick. But it didn't take that long to dry, probably about an hour, an hour and a half. Here's what comes in the set. First is two bottles of the base coat. Then it's the step one, step two, step three, and the glaze. Also in the kit, you get a paint roller, paint tray, a paint brush this is for like when you start doing the splotching and adding the little accent colors to it it also comes with gloves painters tape yeah this is for the paint roller these two because you are gonna have to use the paint roller more than once so let's get started all right, so first what I did was go ahead and put on the painter's tape for the parts that I did not want paint on, which was the ceiling and then the walls. Now I will say people skip this step, but heck nah. You see my face? I was annoyed. But yeah, don't skip this step. Please go ahead. If you are a messy painter like me, put on the painter's tape. All right, now it's time to paint. Now the base coat is like a gray color. But I wanted to say this, when you're painting, please use a paintbrush. Do not use the paint roller thinking it's gonna make you go faster. It actually slowed me down, but I just wanted to try a different way because it felt like it was taking forever. Also use a lot of paint so it can get inside of the grout as well and you don't have to go back and retouch it. All right, my mom came to help me, thank goodness. But as you can see from the middle to the bottom, that's what she did. She was a lot heavier with the paint and it looks a lot better. However, we did run out of base faster. So I would say order another base coat or try to find a color that matches, which I'll show you the color that we used that kind of matched it. And it was only like 10 bucks. And this is how much we were able to paint using two base coats. This is day two. This is how it's looking. It looks pretty good. So what we did is we went to Walmart and got, hopefully it's a color similar. We hope, Jesus. The color that we got, it looks similar from the outside. So we're gonna open that and see if it matches. So that's actually gonna help people who buy the brick anew and don't wanna buy 15 primers because they are expensive. And we also got it in a matte color to match the matte of the brick. I think this, yeah, this is matte. So yeah, so day two, let's go ahead and start painting. I just put on the um, paint that we got for, sorry, my, my mom. We just added the um, paint that we just bought in the color, what color is that? fossil gray and to me it looks a little bit more egg shelly than the missy arbor but then at the same time it's also dry so what i'm gonna do is just let this dry for a sec and see what color it turns if it's pretty close then perfect but if not then i'll go back to the drawing board and figure out where we go from here right, so a little tip and I, I know i look ugly right now because i didn't put on makeup but a little tip 
that I learned from my mom is to just put a regular bag on your paint tray because you have a bunch of colors that you're gonna have to work with and to wash out the pan each time is too much. So just go ahead and put a bag in it and then keep going. Now I'm just caulking the holes at the bottom. Now the bottom had a bunch of holes for some reason. Also, I needed to fill in the areas where the cement was really thin so it can have a smooth look. So that's what I'm doing right there. Now I will say, I don't know if you're supposed to use caulk. So don't follow me because I, I don't know. So I will research that. Now on to the glaze. Now the glaze is super dark, surprisingly, but we're gonna go through it with this sponge right here and apply it at random. All right, so we painted the sides and then also we finished up the bottom. So this is how it's looking as of, oops. so this is how it's looking as of right now. Now this color is lighter, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's, yeah, it's for sure lighter than the base. It says to go over with this color next using the roller, that's what I'm about to do. I think this is gonna add highlights, I guess, because it's pretty light. I wanna say on this step, please be careful, especially if you have flat brick you want to make sure that you go over it lightly even if you have to go over it a few times but there were a few spots where i went too heavy and the brick was completely white so just be careful finally we are at the end all right so now we're on color number three now color number three is even lighter than what i just did so even lighter than number Two. Now this one, they say they want you to dab with a sponge, so that's what I will do. But it already looks good. It's like, I don't see how it's gonna make a difference. I don't know, we'll just see at the end. Okay, so. Never mind. I actually decided not to do any more. I think it's good how it is. It looks really nice. No complaints. I'm gonna see how it looks tomorrow in the sunlight and that's when I'll do the big reveal, but so far, so good. I don't really see the point of the highlights, at least for the like side of the brick or the bottom where people don't really look. It's really not necessary to me, but it does look good for the front. So yeah, tomorrow will be the big reveal. And then on the next episode on this channel, that's when I'll do the full living room makeover and you'll see how it looks once we put the drywall up. If we put drywall up, I don't know. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at the upgrade underscore Kiki. And I will see you all on the next video. Thank you.